Welcome to Colin Bunyan's cooking recipes. Uh, yes, it is snowing outside, so I figured what better way to introduce summer than um, by having British weather do what British weather does. That's right, it's upside down pineapple cake. Okay, what I have in here is 7 ounce of plain flour, 5 ounce of caster sugar, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Add a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, and I'm going to whisk those up for about half a minute until all the lumps are removed. Right, now I'm going to show you how you prep a pineapple. Serrated knife, right. Cut the top, cut the bottom half inch, okay, and then what you do is you then slice, but you attempt to curve the blade around the pineapple, attempting to remove not only the skin but also the brown eyes. So, to prep the pineapple, slice in half, all the way down, and 90 degrees, and slice again all the way down. Right, now, like you would do when you're chopping an apple, you take a knife and you get rid of the core. You don't dispose of it though, I'll explain why in a moment. Right, so another bowl. What we need to do is we need to trim this up so we've got a wide variety of pieces, but they've got to be fairly flat. They've got to be that type of size, I don't know whether you can see, about a centimetre tall, half inch tall, no more than that and as wide a surface area as possible. Right. That's the pineapple prepped. Next step. We take a frying pan and we also take out our cake dish. Okay. So I'm melting 50 grams of prox of butter. Medium heat. Okay. I'm also going to add in 100 grams of light brown sugar. Now, you want to be fairly generous with that because that's going to provide the rich dark flavour. Right, so lighten the mixture a little bit. What I'm going to add is I'm going to squeeze in some pineapple juice. from the core of the pineapple. So we don't want any of the stuff in there, we just want the juice. So it's about a tablespoon, if you get a bit more, do it. I would add in a shot of rum. Now I like the spiced rum, you can add dark if you don't. Don't add white rum, it's terrible. Right, so just a shot of rum. Look. just so the alcohol will burn off, off the heat and into this pie dish which I'm trying to do for cameras making it a little bit more awkward but okay now you don't want this to be super hot whilst you work with this so give it give it 10 minutes to cool down in the meantime Heat back on, 100 gram of butter, okay? And that has to melt for a bourgeoisette. It has to be a brown butter. Off the heat, it's brown 
that's quite nice. Now again, that needs to cool. Don't have to be super cold, it just can't be molten hot. This has had a few minutes to cool down and it started a candy on the cold edge. It's a cold day as you saw there was snow outside so it helps. With the pineapple what you need to do is carefully place it in and essentially tessellate as much as you can. Right, and that's what it should look like. Beautiful, ornate and tessellated as much as possible. Very little space in between. 200ml of whole milk. One whole egg. Put it in there just in case you get a bad one or a bit of shell. One tablespoon of maple syrup. Some vanilla bean extract. Whisk the liquid stuff together by and large before adding together the cool but not ice cold melted butter. Vigorous with this. That's what it should look like nice, thick batter. Scrape it on. This is pouring like velvet. Use a spatula. Level it out. And that goes into the oven for 35 minutes at gas mark 6. Do not open it up until it's done. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to have to try. Now that's a 10 to 12 minutes to cool down. I'm going to Go around the edge with a palette knife because this stuff is sticky. It's still quite warm, but it's not burning. Right. This is the moment that I'm not looking forward to. Three plates larger than the cake itself. Three, two, one. Right, eventually I got it out, it took about 45 minutes in the oven. Now for the bad news, that needs to cool completely. Get at room temperature, then bung in the fridge for several hours. Yes, I know. But you'll thank me later when the texture is better. It's been in the fridge for two hours for chilling, so this should be solid enough. Now it's time for the taste test. Now the crust, quite firm, but the rest of it is still soft, which is good. Should be like that. There we are, that is what it should look like. Now traditionally this is served on its own. I know some people will get annoyed there's no glacé cherries. I'm not worried about that. Let's we'll see what this is like now. Oh, cinnamon. Just a hint of the ginger as well. You get a contrast from the brightness of the pineapple, the very faint hint of spiced rum, cinnamon, the light sponge mixture, and the glaze just works so well. This is a dessert for the summer, not for snowy seasons. But until next time, catch you later.